Alright, this one's going to be on D menu. It's a very lightweight, minimal keystroke launcher, kind of like Kunfer or Gnome Do. Um, I don't think it has any plugins with it, so it has like some basic features only. Anyways, I'm giving you an example. So you would, you know, launch it like what you would do with like other uh, launchers with your hotkey. And this is what it looks like. It looks like a panel at the bottom here, but this is actually the program. I think it only searches for commands that you have on your system. So let's say for example you type in leaf pad, you type in the first few letters of it. You can actually do um it's kinda like autocomplete but it's not autocomplete. It just selects the first one using tab. You can do that and just you know filter it out all the other ones. And you can hit enter. Um but let's say for example let's do that again. Launch the sucker and then you type in like terminal and then say which terminal are you talking about right? Uh, you can use your arrow keys to go back and forth here the bottom even goes to the next one if there's more results but let's say for example I want to launch terminal hit enter and that's how you would do that uh, the thing that I think is missing is that um, with other you know keystroke launchers you can actually type in like home and it open your home folder this one doesn't really have that um, you know, or like you type in downloads to open your downloads folder. It doesn't really have that. The way that you would do this, the same thing as you would do in the command line, is you would have to type in like uh, the file manager you're using, like Thunar, and you can push um, tab to kind of like select the first one, or kind of like autocomplete. And then you can type in uh, the squeaky line for home, just like you're doing the terminal, but you can use it with uh, the D menu. Same thing if you want to do do nard um what is that squeaky line dash downloads and it'll open your download folder so I, that's a little inconvenient i wish you i think you can do like a customization with you know different paths and stuff like that but i haven't tried that yet anyways um that's the program in a nutshell the way that you can customize this let me bust out the terminal here well, normally you would run it uh, is you type in D menu underscore run and you run that. You see that this is the default. It's at the top. It's very small. You probably cannot see it in the screencast if you're watching like in low resolution. But hit escape. You can just cancel all that. Anyways, you want to put the bottom. You don't actually mean give you the man page for this. Man D menu. All right and dash B right here this is what we're going to use is to put at the bottom of the screen so let's go do that dash B and it now appears at the bottom right uh, let's escape out of that if you want to make like the fonts bigger because right now it's kind of small you can use um, dash FN and then the font that you want for example they have this mono space here right so we'll copy that sucker and we'll just do that same thing, dash FN, and then paste in that sucker. But you know what? We're gonna use 16, so that's the one I was using. Right, and there you go. It looks uh, bigger. Um, and that's how you would increase, uh, you know, the font size and everything. Another way to do this is I've seen some people use um, dash FN and then 10 times 20 or whatever size that you want to do. And there you go, that's another way to customize it like that. Escape there. And I think some other customization like, for example, we can do colors, right? Like uh, background colors, foreground. I'm just gonna do one like this one only, the dash NB here, right? And as far as for the colors, it uses, uh, like if you ever use like HTML, they use like those HTML codes so that's what we're gonna do here. Let's see here. We're gonna use the same one and then dash I think we have dash NB and then we're gonna find the colors. I personally don't know the colors, so I'm gonna use the, the search engine here. And just type in like color code. I think that's what I did earlier. Yeah, color code and it should tell you like a few examples like HTML color code here or whatever. And then uh, this is the chart that they have, and I think you can select the colors here. There you go. So let's say, for example, I want to make this uh, red or something, right? We'll copy this sucker. Copy that sucker. 
bust this one out again and we'll put this in single quotes there we go All right push enter and now you can see that it's red and then um, you know we type in something or whatever leaf pad and it opens so there's some customization with the colors if you want to do that but after you have the command that you want you just copy the command right and depending on which uh, distro or desktop environment you're using they would have a um, what was that a, a keyboard option here right and then uh, I'm using XFCE and this is what it looks like right here so you would add one and then inside it you would just type in the, the command that uh, we use so this one is like uh, D menu dash run I mean underscore run dash B dash FN for the fonts and I'm using 16 fonts and normal and then you would apply it to a hotkey of your choice right now I'm using the super space for it uh, sometimes people use control space whatever it is you want to use that's up to you but yeah close it and then whenever you need to use it you just uh, invoke it and like I said this program doesn't use any uh, idle memory or anything when you launch it you launch it when you close it you close it All right. so if you want to go minimal uh, I think that's a good program if you want a keystroke launcher anyways try it out um, when you install this sometimes it depends on which distribution you're at sometimes it's just called D menu in the repositories uh, I think in Ubuntu's it's called suckless dash tools right so install that it should be in your repos too um, but anyways good program if you have a crappy computer that'll be it for this one